I'm Chris, and today we're going to talk about the Altoids Survival Kit. Let's do this real quick. So let's unpack this Altoids kit. I always have some sort of a rubber band on there. If you want to make Ranger bands, I think you can make them out of like a inner tube tire. Now that we have this kit laid out, let's quickly go over it. We have medical stuff here, fire, signaling, navigation, water purification. So up here, I have a different variety of band-aids and little butterfly strips and iodine and alcohol prep pad. Just normal stuff for little cuts and bruises that you might get on an everyday basis. In these little straws, I have different things and I know what they are, but if someone else was going to use this kit, they're not going to know, especially if I can't tell them. So what I was going to do was take a picture of most of this stuff and label it and print that picture up so it's this size so I can keep it in the kit. Now over here, I have a couple different neosporins, iodine, chamomile lotion, antiseptic, hydrogen peroxide, and then inside here we have more neosporin, and then I have honey, peptobismol, salt, I have Vaseline, Vaseline with a cotton ball inside that when you take it apart, you just fluff up the end, either put a spark on that or light it and that's going to burn just like your Vaseline and cotton ball would normally. It's just an easier, neat way to keep it. And then I have 91% isopropyl alcohol, char rope, a couple different matches, a little birthday candle, one of those stormproof matches. And then the striker for that stuff is wrapped up in here. You can also use the tin foil to cook food, to boil water. You can use the tin itself to boil water. You can use the tin foil as a means to gather water, flagging tape, a little button compass, a little lighter. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to keep this in my tin or not. It's just a little pencil sharpener. The body of it is supposed to be magnesium. I haven't really tested it out to see if you could start a fire with it. It's just an idea I had and I thought I'd play around with it. I thought if you grabbed a little stick, you could easily make shavings with it to help get your fire going. It would be easier to use than using a razor blade. And unfortunately at this time, I have not found a little knife that I like that fits in my kit. Now I have needles here and thread. I can also put dental floss around there. I do have a little bit of dental floss wrapped around some tin foil with fish hooks here. But I'm going to wrap more dental floss around here and get rid of the thread. Just because dental floss is a lot stronger, I can use it for fishing, I can use it for sutures, I can use it for sewing up clothing and such like that. I have a little coffee filter. I have a condom in here just to demonstrate that you could use this for a container to hold water. You're supposed to use an unlubricated one uh, for obvious reasons. But the problem with that is you need running water or a good method and system to get water into that into there and fill it up. So this is just a little basic survival kit. And honestly, I find that these Altoids tins are not large enough to get everything you should have in a survival tin. You might have different survival tins for different scenarios. If this is something I have on me every day, it's going to have more normal medical stuff. So if I accidentally cut myself throughout the day and I'm nowhere near uh, you know, first aid kit, at least I have a little first aid kit in here just to you know, get that patched up so I'm not getting dirt and grime in a cut or something like that. If I'm making an Altoids kit for the woods, for camping, for hunting, it's going to be a little bit different than this. And I might even make multiple ones to really encompass everything I have along with the pack that I'm wearing. With little Altoids kits like this, you have to make sacrifices and you have to decide for yourself what you think is more important depending upon your skill sets with what you need in the kit. I'm Chris and thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Definitely check out some of my other videos, and please share this video with your friends. If you guys could help me out and do me a huge favor, on your YouTube homepage, go to My Subscriptions, under Manage Subscriptions, find my name, and within there, there's going to be a column that says Check to Send Notifications, or something along those lines. You're going to check that box, and what it's going to do is every time I post a new video, you're going to be notified right away, so you're not one of the last ones to see it, and possibly the first one to leave a comment. Thank you guys so much.